Okay, I'm gonna give a little update on my flowers. These are my favorite. They're all blooming out. When we're camping for the weekend, you can come back and I think they're all in the bloom. Two left. These are my favorite right there. And then there's my dog. He's following me around. He doesn't want to leave my flag because he thinks I'll be gone again, I guess, for the weekend. He don't like that. There's my little red area. Oh, let's see, let's put them over here. You can see how dry it is on the bottom part from not having rain. Then we got rain. So, see, those are, I'm going to dig up those black eyed Susans and move them. Then we got my flock. They're starting to bloom in here, but they're just looking all the dead from the heat. And there's more of my favorite flowers. I got them growing everywhere in here. And right here is where I put a tomato plant and my different kinds of basil. This is my, this is my, yeah, this one's my spicy. And it looks like I cut some flowers off that. And then over here is the cinnamon basil. See the difference from the color on top. And they smell so good. And then I got um, chives and oregano and stuff in both of them too. That area. There's the flowers from this view. Birds flying around. See the butterfly on that one. Here's the pond. My grandson cut that back a while ago. Maybe she told me, Brenda told me that was Queen's Lace. Then my cone flowers, and then there's a butterfly. I don't know how close that's it. See it? Is that beautiful? They got my favorite flowers. Must be his favorite too. I got to some of that orange on his wing and green. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? As long as you don't touch his wings, I'll be fine. I don't want him to think he's not safe either. Yep, those are my favorites back there. It's more phlox, but in the middle of it is a big old Indian ink plant, is what they call it. Well, I was told that. And then my trumpet vine is going right up the tree. Whatever tree that is, the tree's old. I think it might have been an old weeping willow. I'm not even sure. See more orange over there. And there's my dog. My, um, Rosa Sharon bushes is blooming. There's uh, purple cone flowers. And then the flock. Tiger lily. Unless somebody wants to crack me on that. Here's all that lace I let go. People say they're weeds. I love them. Don't care. There's the little pond. Needs to be cleaned. More of that lace all over. I think it's pretty. But there's some more of my flowers. This heat is just. Mm, not good. All this is like laid down now. We're gonna just chop that all out of there. Very beautiful. There's the yellow daylilies right here. And they're pretty. Got some colors. And you'll still be in the there. There's some more orange ones. There's the wall. Don't look too bad. I guess flowers are still blooming over there. Corn flowers. Yep. Next year that'll look good. Needs bright water and rain. Yeah, I'm about home all weekend. Get some rain now we have to go back through and weed whack. Still needs water though, that rain didn't do as much. Look how bad this one is. But this one's get a lot of those bugs. I sprayed it, sprayed it, sprayed it. So I think I'm just gonna tear this out. Let's put some new stuff in the soil and call that one good. I got a few off it. 
But there's just so many bugs in that one before it gets on my other ones. There's the tomatoes. I did harvest some tomatoes yesterday and used them in this cucumber salad. Today I'm making a salad too, but it's going to be pineapples and cucumbers. But it's not going to be fresh pineapple. I'm using canned. It calls for fresh, but I'm not using fresh. But that's how this is doing. I'll come out later tonight when it cools a little bit in water. Like I got a zucchini off that one yesterday. And I got two off that one yesterday. My pumpkin plant. Back here, walk through this maze of an area here. This grass will dry this stuff. My husband had mold like one time. Oh my, really? I think my grandkids did it. But yeah, I gotta water this pumpkin patch. It needs it. Look at all that, just from the heat. And the rabbits. Yep, well, I gotta go get the feed because I gotta do the chickens. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna throw this stuff into the chickens. There they are. And see, they always knock the water over. These are going to my, I think my son's gonna take them. I'm not positive. We'll find out, or my friend Marty.